It's this cab driver again. Another thing that I was pointed out is the guy I pointed out in the very first episodes. This guy right here, and the, the cab driver, he shows up a lot. He was in the apartment when the first head was found on the grounds. And a lot of people also prophesize that he could be the killer. Is this it? It might be. I'm sad. What's nuts? Well, this is the, we're getting close to the hint here, though. We've got. I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffee, what if Buffkin's glamour? What if Snow's glamour? What if Snow's a crooked man? You heard, but it didn't happen like that. Holy Are you crap. denying the facts? She's denying me the chance to get a word in. Hey, it's Toad. Sheriff Bigby has returned. Oh, Hello. That is the old wrecking ball himself. Bigby, I came in like a wreck. That you was will have to wait. Just one moment, please. Look what I found. Don't pull this stuff out with other people here. We don't know who we can See, trust. Your dog wants a biscuit. I'm not in the mood. And you've got a lot to answer for. Oh, he does? Really? Buffkin, like get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss Why would we pull... S this is what it's... Finally, this is stupid. Things are swinging back in the right direction. We Good know there's glamour you. stuff all over the place. You've been gone all day. I thought piece looks too small. I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. Once the mirror's fixed, we can use it to find that crooked bastard. Probably not true. Or There's gonna be some reason why he hangs his hat. That's how Crane kept tabs on him. And everybody else. I'd say he was abusing the privilege. He's probably using Bloody Mary's probably powers to be honest. spying on all of us. He yeah. was probably spying on me. Oh my god. Anyway... No, it's fine. Creepy. You excellent work, Bigby. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? <laughs> I like how this piece of mirror is changing sizes. Like in Buffkin's hand, that's way bigger than Don't it was in far, his pocket. Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Oh yeah? Take a number. Pretty much. <laughs> I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? Probably because... Well, it's the wrong where did you piece. find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? He totally Shattery broke off a very piece. traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. It had a front row seat to a pretty gnarly brawl at the Lucky Pond. When I found it, it was still in Crane's coat. Last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she had some... Ah, yes, Miss White was asking about her. Buffkin's actually Bloody Mary. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? You know who? Voldemort? I think I already know the feeling. Huh? Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. It's gonna be instant. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. If you ask me, you're man, I don't know who we could trust. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the crooked man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office so bad? What I want is my business. Dude, this is gonna. Uh, those two this right episode's now. gonna end with some big We're reveal about the crooked man. I don't know what it is. Just chilling like They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? <laughs> I go, look at his voices. First, help over there. Mouth isn't moving. Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But good. just so you know, we can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So, just break the news and be done with it, okay? Oh, poor him and Toad Jr. Toad, come here. Are we actually not going to get an option here? I see to walk around? Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. Dosh, dosh! I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, uh, but I've taken a real wallet because of you. Where's the glamour? I think you don't take me seriously, Toad. How many times have I told you to get glamoured up? Oh. You know that if you're out of glamour, I gotta send you to the farm. Well, See, it's bad stuff like this. Hey, hmm? Is he going to the farm too? Yeah, you thought we didn't know about him, huh? Oh, no. A worst kept secret in fable time. Colin stays out of sight, for Mondays at least. You say the same. Oh, fine, fine, I get that. But there we go. It's <laughs> a very simple solution. If you give me one more chance and hear me out, I'll see a way for me and me boy to stay. 
I'm not going to ask for any more than I need. I, I just want to stay. This is why so leaving when Colin stays is bad. Just cover me glamours and we'll call the rest a wash. Please, Sheriff, don't take TJ from the only oh, army knows. TJ. glamour rule is oppressive. I've done nothing wrong but look different. You know, it's not right. Look, I'll try to get you that money and get you another chance, but... You have to understand. This is a bad idea. It's not entirely up to this me. This is bad. I should not have said chosen that. I knew I could count on you to make me old. But look, if we, we tell him, shorted, and I'll be glamour to the nines, I will. <sighs> if he, <sighs> if we tell him we're not giving him the glamour, he's gonna go. He's gonna join freaking Bloody Mary and Crooked Man's side. Low beer. You wanna talk? Now's your chance. We can I make just enemies made my here. I donation funding this office. So direct your questions to Miss White. I, I, I don't know if that he was serious well, about that or at not. At least he's not trying to get rid of me. <clears throat> he's not. For now. For Did now. you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know I'll it may not seem monies. that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. Don't worry. I did the right thing. Are you sure? Probably because should have taken money. Looking pretty happy. <laughs> <sighs> It'll be out of my old Fine. pocket, maybe. We'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. Because they You've disobeyed. Seen this world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the crooked man killed them with his own uh, hand or if it was one of his goons. It's totally about one thing control. I figured out. That the crooked man is all about control. It's Look at the guy hanging in the background. At the pawn shop. Who is that? He pedals, chains, ribbons. Maybe Faith and Lily weren't doing what they were told, or maybe they just tried to leave. Well, Finn's totally gonna interrupt us. Right. There we go. I totally called that. Like literally half a second before he called us. I'm like, but Finn's gonna totally to interrupt us. I tell us he's okay. Better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm Yay, sorry. rhymes. I just, Yay. I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. <laughs> That's funny. Is that a good idea? Are you really sure you want to see him? Yes. Totally, he's like, has a freaking bag over you his head. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the crooked man needs you. Until then, not a peep. What Otherwise, a perfect moment. I get to deal with you my way. So well, please, maybe can come through when please through things disobey. through glass, Wait can't she? Someone's watching. How does she know? She can't possibly know where to look. Yeah, I was gonna say she could totally come through mirrors. What just happened? We pointed you in the wrong direction. And looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. Huh, at least she didn't so, come through. Let's not do that again, okay? Too bad! Looks let's see Crane again! Crane, Crane, Crane! Later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the Crooked Man. Crook, it's totally not Vicky, actually Crooked Man's we don't name, though. Have a lot of time. Are you having trouble with the rhyme, Sheriff? Yes. Uh, mirror, mirror. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. <laughs> no time to pout. So. Oh Where my does god. Crooked man hang out. <laughs> It'd be amazing if you just started laughing. I don't oh. recognize the door, but that's the crooked man symbol on it. Hold on. Now it changed. Where's it going now? That's pudding and pie! The door. Pudding pie, pudding it pie! Moves. Yeah, Jersey mentioned that. Wait a minute. I know it's a pudding and pie. Pudding and pie. Central Park. Dang it. I don't know when it's okay. going to move again. I just noticed it was dark. Before it does. Big B, wait. When you get the crooked man, make sure you bring him He's back not alive. Be there. It's a trap. He has to stand trial. We can't just dispense street justice. I know that emotions can be <clears throat> high, and you have your reasons to handle I'll bring this him back a alive. certain way. I'll catch him and bring him back here alive, and we can clean him and cook him together. Yay! Yeah. I have enough to worry about here All's good while I prepare well. the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Oh, yes. I'm ready. I got no other This choice. music's too happy. Way too happy. Way too happy. This, this episode better not end right now. I'm gonna be mad. Holy crap, this is longer than I thought. I thought it was gonna end with the mirror being like, this is where the Crooked Man is, then we're gonna see something crazy, but nope. 
<gasps> Open the door, get on. This is a bad idea. This is bad. This is bad. This is so bad. Why am I here alone? Lost cat. Kick the door. Examine. Let's examine it. That's it, all right. Uh, let's knock politely. Uh, let's kick it. I'm not taking no chances. Whoa! That's cool. This is gonna be bad. How come I teleported backward? <laughs> No, now I'm trapped. He totally knows I'm here. I'm, I'm actually, my heart rate is going up right now. Who's this? Tim. Tim. What the hell are you doing here? Is it really Tim, Good though? Evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. Shake his hand. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. Hold on. You've just been waiting for me to show up? No, I you knew. knew I was coming? Yeah. That's what they told me. I don't know. They said you made it pretty clear. What? I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so... Someone totally you was this way. Is it snow? Look, is it this snow? is the one thing I have to do. Get the, Please don't let's make get this, this over with. Alright, let's get this over Who with. Who is it? Come on. Uh, is it Nerissa? All I want, Sheriff. Is it Nerissa? Is it Snow? It'd be more of a giant reveal if it was Snow. And Snow's actually- the real Snow was dead and like this- the crooked man just like pretending to be Snow. What's that creaking noise? Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do and I don't want to mess it up. Chris had that two frame <laughs> flicker of the flame. I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard. Or an escort for that matter. Tim, how can you be working here? You know who this guy is, don't you? He's not- He's not as bad as you Who's think. Who's it gonna be? He doesn't treat me like it's some beard? broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job. This could be like and Jigsaw. I'm lucky to have it. This is the Saw. only option I've got. It's gonna be some deranged old Just man that can can't keep move. that in mind, maybe. Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town I'm is not gonna, gonna get caught. I'm not gonna. Middle. And if you're here, it can't be good. So I'm I gonna hope say when I don't know who he is I'm yet, but I do know who he is. He changed people up for God's sake! A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. Yeah, we and he kills you. people! But we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Why can't he just hey, do all this legally? Hold up! I gotta go in with you. Can't you just wait up, Sheriff? Sure, why not? Let's wait. Thanks. <laughs> Who's that? What did I tell you? Stop laughing at me. Oh, yeah? Tell me who the fuck is. I recognize that voice, but I don't know who it is. I I don't exactly know. I, I just mind the door. You need the boss is there. You come around. I know that much. I don't know whose voice that is. Him. I'm sure he will prove himself quite handy to have in my pocket. I don't know. If, I don't recognize that voice. That's well, dim enough to do as he's told. Let's knock. <laughs> Let's be really simple. Come in. That won't be necessary. Sheriff Wolf, sir. Hello, Council of Hey, it's a Jersey Devil. Oh, thank you, Tim. I know the sheriff isn't the accommodating. Oh person. my god, I don't know that is. You did well. You can go now. Thank you, sir. Is he gonna like threaten me or is he gonna be really nice? How oh, the other door close? Holy crap, they have advanced magic you here. You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. It's like the Godfather. I've never seen that movie, so I can't really say that actually. But this is all like Why interesting. don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. Uh, all right, let's talk. Let's smoke actually. I need a light for this. <laughs> oh no! No! How dare they! This game might freeze. Is it gonna freeze? Oh, it did it! Next time on The Wolf Among Us. I've heard stories about you. Are oh, they gonna train me up to be one of their own In now? The old days, how you picked off those men one by one. What the hell is oh. this? 
Whose car is that? It's coming. The wolf is coming. And they would wait. Dude. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, oh, shivering Oh, even he's corpses. terrified of him. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. Did I do that to him, maybe? <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. Whoa. Oh, well. Hey, <laughs> Oh, did I crash? No, we didn't. You and 39.1% of the players I <laughs> Well, I don't I kinda regret that decision actually. I shouldn't bend the rules like that, but you know. Oh, I'm in the only 38.5% of the players tried to remove Nurse's ribbon. Um 50% of the players went to the cut above first. I wonder what would happen if I went to the pawn shop first. Uh you sent toad to the farm, you and 47% of the I'm in the I, I didn't get a single majority choice here. Holy crap, I'm different. Yeah, I'm different. You and 24.6% of the players lit a cigarette. <laughs> I thought it was the most appropriate thing to do. <laughs> oh, no. Er, macker. So, you know what? Can we actually do this right now? Let's do this right freaking now so we don't have to... I'm really curious. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Do we just exit the credits? Well, we've seen the credits enough times, to be honest. Extras, book of fables. Where is where's the freaking Jersey Devil? Where is he? Um, right there. Great, awesome. Garden State Goon. That's it. Dude, look how badass he looks. He's so freaking cool. And all the fables who come to this world landed in Fable Town. Uh, there are those who scattered around the farthest corners of the Earth. <laughs> That's silly. The Earth doesn't have corners. Uh, <laughs> and there are those who simply prefer the Garden State to the Empire State, uh, such as the Jersey Devil. Uh, reports of its appearance have varied, although most accurate make mention of leathery wings. It doesn't have wings. An encounter with a certain axe of legends some years ago has temporarily rendered the feature ab absent. Oh. So he lost his wings. Look how freaking cool he looks. I can't get over it. What's a man's axe? Uh, it's sorrelled by the druids. Uh, once just a simple tool for fueling trees, the axe became much more when it was ensorcelled by druids and marked it with ruin. So they're ruins, but it truly became an object of legend when the woodsman used to slice uh, the big bad wolf from nave to neck in protection of Little Red Riding Hood. It may carry old uh, world charm, but its simplicity of design and quality worksmanship, even as an effective tool or weapon, even today. Yeah, it does look pretty cool. It looks a bit like you know weathered though. Johan, I just want to say Joan. <laughs> His name is often said in the same breath as the. That the baker of and candlestick maker of Fable Town, and like those other tradesmen, Yoan in the butcher storefront has saved Fable Town for ages. Fresh cuts, yeah, definite exotic meats and even full sides of beef for the vigorous appetites of ogres and trolls. But Johan's business has fallen on hard times and fallen in the wrong crowd. And the quality of his products declined, and his business turned into a front operation for the crooked man. Some have even stated, started to wonder if they ever really knew jo Johan. Johan, Bluebeard's money. <laughs> I like how these all like characters and important things in the game, and then just Bluebeard's money. It's important enough that like it gets its own page. <laughs> One might think that Bluebeard donates funds to the Fable Town government for nefarious purposes, seeking special favors or to have a louder voice in the government proceedings. But he really, really wants his stability and strength. Really? Because, as far as Bluebeard is concerned, Fable Town exists to insulate him from the Monday world. As much as his money can be a sword, it also serves as a shield. That's interesting. Huh. The Crooked Lair. Occupy occupying a dis desanctified church. This is just one of the many locations the Crooked Man's operations used to run in the Fable Town underworld. It's a lounge atmosphere. Uh, for a comfortable meeting place unless you are an unwelcome guest much like me It is completely boarded up to the outside world and the only way is through one of the many portals marked by a door with crooked man's Catherine wheel icon um, Scattered throughout the city and elsewhere So I guess Catherine's where that wheel came from The crooked man crime lord, but who are you really? Mr. 
stroke victim guy. <clears throat> this crooked man slowly built himself into one of the most powerful figures in Fable Town. His operation started with a crooked sixpence and a crooked house, two things he cared about more than his wife or children, whom he killed. What? Rather than let them stand in his way. In his rise, a crooked man has ensnared many fables in his cri criminal web, criminal web, providing them with what they need, but always at a high cost. He is cunning, persuasive, and ruthless. Yeah, so I guess his face is crooked. Why is his mustache should be crooked as well? That, that would be great. Tan Tim. Most fables theorize that their longevity and overall well-being is approved by the Mundy's world knowledge of them for a select few that does not seem to apply when a malady or injury of an integral part of a fable story that notoriety can make recovery nearly impossible that's what tiny tim thinks out at least and no medical care or magic rather none that he can afford can heal his leg oh poor tim life on the farm uh, with this idyllic location oh yeah we read this all right awesome we missed two. Probably if I went to the other place first. That's probably what a lot of these I've missed are, like, going to the wrong place. I know some of them are probably I just chose the wrong thing. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave likes for already. My name's Chris. In the next episode, we get the finale of The Wolf Among Us, which is sad because I love this series so much. Right now, I honestly think it's better than The Walking Dead. Because this is, this is fantastic. I, I said at the beginning of this that... People have been claiming this one sucks, but I thought it was really good. It was worth it for the Jersey Devil alone. Like, holy crap, he's so badass! But yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching, and goodbye!